While this was going on, Gohan, Krillin, and Videl continued to search for Kagomi miles away from West City when they landed on the ground, seeing the view. They were feeling tired of party search. However, they decided to take a short break. Videl stood beside him, while looking around the land. Are you sure you couldn't find Kagomi anywhere? Videl asked. No doubt, I could feel their key, especially Kagami's, aura. Gohan responded. Surely Goku and the others would have found her there, or now. Krillin replied with a sweet look on his face, until they heard a rumbling noise from the land. They widened their eyes when they noticed it was Vegeta's key, but they could feel dark key from a certain person. A certain person who has evil key was Yamcha. They knew this isn't a good sign. Well, that's them, Krillin said awkwardly. Come on, we have to help Vegeta, Gohan suggested when he and the others chased after them on a battlefield. As the latter moves to do so, Yamcha attacked him, but Vegeta intercepted and deflected his attack. Vegeta then transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue, as well after becoming a Super Saiyan 3. Much to Yamcha's shock, Vegeta attacked Yamcha instantly, eventually causing him to revert to his final form, who then realizes that he cannot win. Before Vegeta can deliver the final blow, while avenging his unborn baby's death, he felt pain in his chest when he noticed he was having an unknown virus. Vegeta turned back into his base form. Then he heard Yamcha chuckle when he saw him walking slowly. Even if you've briefly awakened Super Saiyan 3 for the first time, you wouldn't waste too much power. Let me remind you something, Vegeta. Your intense training on Otherworld gave you the power you needed to go beyond Super Saiyan 2. Goku intentionally didn't use it when he fought against you, because you were jealous of his newfound power when you heard about it. It's a shame that Goku was better than you. Vegeta grunted in pain, clenching onto his chest. Shut the fuck up, it's in the past, so I won't hear it again. Whoa? Have you forgotten how you became a monster after you wrecked the whole place after you went training with Babidi and Majin Buu? Bulma would have left you with me after what you did. She would never leave me. Even though if she did, she would have been the first person to cheat on with like you, and Kakarot's wife did a long time. So shut the hell up and fight up, you piece of shit. Vegeta roared in anger, turning back into Super Saiyan Blue and ignoring the pain in his chest. So he marched towards him, and he was about to give him his final blow. But Yamcha managed to dodge his attack then he gave him a deadly punch in the chest, which it caused Vegeta to scream in pain. Then again he turned back into his base form, and fell to the ground. When Yamcha was about to attack Vegeta, he felt being punched in the face, and fell to the ground. Vegeta groaned in pain when he looked up, and saw it was Gohan who punched him. He groaned again when he still felt a pain in his chest. So he collapsed his knees onto the ground, but he felt someone catch him with his arm. He slowly looked over and saw it was Krillin. Are you okay, Vegeta? Krillin asked. Not really, I felt something burning in my chest. Maybe having a virus after I became a Super Saiyan 3. Vegeta muttered in pain with a sweat look on his face. He clenched onto his chest furthermore. Vegeta, why don't you rest for a bit while I'll help you get out from this place? Gohan, and Krillin could handle this. Fidel suggested who helped him stand up. Vegeta nodded in response then he started to rest, fighting out the pain in his chest. So Krillin joined the fight with Gohan, while Videl went out helping Vegeta escape from Yamcha's wrath. Gohan glared at him, and said if you ever get too close to him, I will not hesitate but to kill you. You fool. You won't kill me. I have the chicken jewel shard that can help me make myself stronger. Yamcha snarled in anger. Well, that's never gonna happen, because the shard could taint you with hatred. That doesn't help you make you stronger to kill them. So I won't let you harm then. Gohan shouted before he and Krillin began to attack Yamcha instantly. At the same time when Videl helped Vegeta get away from Yamcha who was fighting against Gohan and Krillin, Kagomi soon finally woke from the pain she's in until she saw Boma crying and Goku standing beside while watching his friends fighting with Yamcha. She widened her icy blue eyes and saw her pants are covered in blood. She realized her baby has been a miscarriage. Bulma, what happened? Kagami, you okay? Goku cried out as he ran towards her, and embraced her tightly. He started to kiss her on a cheek, that made her blush heavily. Goku? Kagomi muttered weakly. Baby, are you feeling okay? He asked her in a worried tone. She nodded. Yeah. Kagomi looked over, and saw Bulma was still crying after she had seen her entrance pants are covered in blood. Bulma, are you okay? What happened? It's gone. Bulma sobbed. What? Kagomi widened her icy blue eyes in shock. Yamcha killed it. I was about to take the shard with me. But the bastard grabbed me in the ankle then he miscarried my baby with a punch. She covered her mouth and said. 
Whoa, Bulma. I'm so sorry. Goku glared over and saw an explosion from the mountains. He knew this isn't good. So he decided to go help the others. I have to go help the others, you girls stay here. After that, Goku went out to go help his friends until Kagomi could sense something. Kagomi spun around and faced Bulma sitting here feeling too weak and depressed, but getting confused to see what she was staring at. Kagami stared at her stomach, and she can hear a heart beating inside of her womb. She widened her eyes again when she can feel ki inside of her. Bulma, your baby is still alive, Kagomi said, pointing at her stomach while still feeling its ki. She sniffed as she wiped off the tears from her eyes. Bulma frowned at her a bit. Oh don't be ridiculous, it's already too late. No really Bulma, I could feel its ki and your baby is still alive. Kagami said happily when she put her hand on her stomach and could feel its heartbeat slowly. Bulma was shocked to feel it. She doesn't know to react. But clearly, she didn't know it was still alive. But clearly, she saw it to her own eyes when Yamcha had killed her unborn child. She couldn't understand how it lives. Suddenly, Kagomi replaced her hand and started to heal the baby and even Bulma with spiritual power. She blinked in confusion. What are you doing? To give this baby a second chance. Trust me, Bulma. This unborn child needs its a second chance so it could it's a new journey, Kagami said, Bulma sighed with a nod, so she let her heal her unborn child, Kagami had managed to heal the baby until they were fully recovered, suddenly, Bulma doesn't feel any pain in her womb anytime, she realized her baby was still alive, my baby, it's still beating Anne alive, she couldn't help but cry in joy, so she threw herself, and hugged her tightly, Bulma started to weep in happiness, oh Kagami, thank you so much, thank you so much for healing us, Bulma cried out. You're welcome, Kagomi said. How did you do that? She asked. Well, if I can get to a wound quickly enough, I can purge it from an infection spreads. Nevertheless, I have skills because I'm still a priestess who can purify it, especially healing them with magic. And even saving people's lives? Bulma asked. She chuckled with eyes closed with a smile, looking so pale with a sweat drop. Yeah, Kagami said, sounding a bit weak. After that, she began to collapse until Bulma caught her in her arms. Kagami. Kagami, are you alright? She didn't reply period. Bulma knew Kagomi was exhausted from wasting too much power after the fight with Yamcha. Kagami. Back with the others, Vegeta was getting way worse when he panted heavily and clenched his chest tightly. His face became pale and tired when he lay on the ground instantly. Fidel was doing her best to take care of Vegeta's illness. Goku immediately attacks with a god Kamehameha and attacked Yamcha who dodged his power. Then there was another explosion that Goku and Yamcha had caused it. Goku doesn't know how stronger he is. Damn. I don't know how Yamcha would do that, but I already knew he has wished for Shenron to become invisible. Dad. Is there something else we must do to stop Yamcha? Gohan shouted. He gritted his teeth sharply. I'm afraid not. Kagomi woke up again and heard Bulma was calling out for her. So she quickly got up in front of her. She was still exhausted, but needed to stop Yamcha from madness. But all she needed was to get the jewel shard then bring him back to normal. Kagami, are you okay? She asked worried. Kagomi nodded tiredly. Yeah, I must be exhausted from wasting more power. You might as well rest. You look pale. Bulma suggested. I can't do that, I needed to get a shard, so we can be to stop him. Kagomi replied facing at the view where Yamcha was still fighting against Goku, Krillin, and Gohan. Except for Vegeta and Vidal. She gazed at the shining shard where it lay on his chest. She began to think about what she can do. Bulma, I need a sacred bow, an arrow. Kagomi spoke and exhausted. But we didn't bring it with us. Bulma protested. Never mind, just call Wiss if he can bring me a sacred arrow, Kagomi argued. She sighed. All right, let's see what we can do. Bulma pulled out a radar phone from her pocket then started to contract about what happened, and needed a sacred arrow for Kagami. After this, Wiss and Beerus joined them to eat a strawberry-flavored dessert Bulma has prepared for them. So, Kagomi and Bulma, you get to tell us about what happened. So you asked us for a sacred arrow? Wiss asked, smiling. She nodded. Yeah, I needed to distract Yamcha, so the Z fighters can finish the fight, but I needed to get the shard from his chest. Here you have it, my dear. Wiss said as he gave it to Kagomi with bow and arrow. She smiled and said, thank you. Well, you better hurry, or else our ice cream is starting to get melt, Beerus suggested in a lazy tone, which annoyed Bulma. Let her take on Yamcha, Baka. Bulma snapped. What did you call me, woman? Beerus growled furiously. There's no need to fight you two. Right now, Kagomi needs to distract Yamcha. 
so they finish him, and then she'll get the shard to purify it, Wiz said. The two nodded in response and began to watch Kagomi. Kagami quickly aimed an arrow at Yamcha who was punching Gohan in the face when she focused on the movement, until she hit the target. She let go of the string and let an arrow fly off. Go! Kagomi yelled. Then they saw a glowing arrow was shot with filled a powerful amount of Reiki in it. They knew it was Kagami who distracted Yamcha from them to finish the fight. Finally, Goku managed to use his god Kamehameha to defeat Yamcha, and so was Vegeta who uses final flash as well. All of the attacks went straight towards Yamcha whose onyx eyes widened when he saw all of the attacks heading towards him. It's over Yamcha! Goku shouted. Yamcha screamed out in pain as he was defeated that were soon purified into his soul by Kagami's spiritual power. After that Yamcha fell to the ground, and Goku quickly took the tainted jewel shard from his chest. When he caught it with his bare hand, he spun around, and saw Kagami had distracted Yamcha with a sacred arrow while standing in the field with Bulma, Whis, and Beerus. Goku smiled in relief as he, and the boys rushed to them so he handed to Kagami. Here you go, Kags, Goku said as handed the tainted jewel shard to Kagami. He and the gang watched in wonder as Kagomi purified the tainted jewel shard. It's finally purified, Kagomi said with a smile, and Yamcha was finally defeated. Now we need to get back to business, so we need a plan to stop Black and Zamasu, Goku said with an excited smile. Not right now, Kakarot, but right now, I'm in so much pain. Vegeta said in between heavy breaths, which worries them. Vegeta, are you feeling all right? Bulma asked worried. Are you having a heart virus? Goku panicked. Afraid so. He groaned in pain. Oh God. No Vegeta. You can't have a heart virus. You must be healed. Bulma cried out. I'm afraid there's nothing you guys can do to save me. Vegeta breathed heavily. No. Don't say that. You can't leave me and our unborn child alone. She sobbed as she embraced him and lift his hand into her stomach, which shocked Vegeta. He widened his eyes in shock. What? But, our child is dead. Actually, I was the one who healed them with my spiritual power, Kagomi said, smiling. You serious? Vegeta asked who sounded happy in relief. She nodded in response. Vegeta threw himself and embraced her instantly when he started to cry while ignoring the pain. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for bringing my child back. We thought we lost it forever. Vegeta sobbed in her left shoulder while sobbing. No problem. But right now you needed to be healed too, Vegeta. So let me help you purify your soul to get rid of the heart virus. Kagami said before putting her hand onto his chest. He nodded with a glare. Ignoring the tears formed in his eyes. Okay. So Kagomi started to heal his chest within his heart. They sense her ki was getting weaker while Kagomi was wasting more power to heal him. Her whole power glowed with pinkish purple when she was using her purification. After almost two minutes, when everyone kept watching her, Vegeta was completed healed until Kagami passed out from exhaustion. She felt dizzy and weary. When she was about to collapse to the ground, Goku caught her in his arms. Kagami. Goku called out her name as he began to carry her in a bridal style. He was worried. He wanted to make sure if she was alright. Little did he know, he brought out a senzu bean and put it in her mouth so he made her chew it and then swallow it. After that, Kagomi was completely healed, but still feeling exhausted from the spiritual power. She'll be okay, Goku said to his friend, frowning. Bulma frowned back. We need to take her back to Capsule Corp, so she needed a long rest. What about Yamcha, you guys? What are we going to do to him? Krillin asked, pointing at the unconscious Yamcha who lay on the ground feeling defeated. Gohan glared a bit at that. We'll figure out what to do to Yamcha, but right now we need to take Kagomi back to Bulma's place. And don't forget Yamcha, Krillin reminded them, trying not to annoy them, 